Hello. I'm becoming convinced that living in the United States in a first world country, oftentimes our blessings, what I see as my blessings, it blinds me. We somehow with the abundance of food and, and goods and transportation and all that we have, we, we take a lot for granted. We assume certain blessings to be the norm. And we complain about things that we really shouldn't be complaining about. In fact, I find that many religions have statements of belief, code of ethics and creeds. Um, if you belong to this group, this is what you will adhere to. But I find that when you are part of a community long enough to complain about things, then you're in. If you feel comfortable enough that I can complain about things, then I really belong. And we have a lot to complain about. <laughs> we can complain even on the most beautiful day sometimes. And oftentimes I find that the things I'm complaining about, critical of, are in fact God's blessings. God blesses us in many ways. Sometimes it's not the way we want. Recently, I had a service that was scheduled to be outside and the weather was cold and rainy and I was talking to God saying, why is it so, the weather is so bad, this is not what we wanted. And it turned out that the best thing that could happen, the blessing of God was to bring us inside. And it was magnificent. That was our blessing and I spent the morning complaining about it. <laughs> I find that to be much of my life. God's blessings have challenged me. God's blessings have really stretched my abilities, my patience, my talents, and have caused me to see things in new ways. And oftentimes I've seen them as more hindrance or a bother or a challenge or something that's just not right. But it is God's blessing. It is important to note and to look at the things that we complain about and to take note, are, are these in fact blessings? Are the things that I want to get out of my way put there by God? And if they are, no action that I will ever be able to take will move that out of the way. It will stay there until I face what I need to face. This is a short life I live and you live and we have together. The challenges that we have are what what deepen our faith, bring us closer to God. I'm more likely to pray when I'm challenged, when things aren't going right and the way I want them to go. I'm brought closer to God. I find myself dependent upon God much more. This is a blessing to be abounded in everything, getting my wish all the time would be the nightmare. The Midas, you know, everything I touch turns to gold is really the curse that he, he faced, King Midas. We too want everything to be perfect and golden, but that is really not, that is the curse. Let us look to the blessings of God that we might not always see as a blessing, but surprising us, sometimes bringing deep pain and loss into our world, but in this, God is, is re-emerging a life that is deeper, true. The depth of our calling comes not from the abundance of wealth, but from the, the great ocean of God's blessing and love, forgiveness, healing. The wounds and the, the mistakes I've made have, have become, in fact, the seeds of, of wonderful life, new directions. Let us take note of the things we complain about, we want to correct and make better, and realize that perhaps some of these things are there because God has brought them into our life for a reason, that we might see things as a blessing, not as a challenge or a curse, but as a blessing. God blesses us in ways that we cannot imagine, endlessly more abundant than the sun shining in a beautiful day, more than the oceans that surround this planet, the blessings of God, 
spring eternal, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord, and I will praise you even though the fig tree does not blossom, even though it's not the way life is, might not be the way I want it to be. It is the way you've given it, that you've so carefully crafted it with such great intricacy in the details that are waiting for my awe and wonder. It is a blessed day. Let us be blessed and bless each other with the gratitude of love. Amen.